Welcome to Inspired Lifestyles Barbados, where we give you the best of Barbados and all of its hidden treasures. Previously, we did a video on what not to do in Barbados. It's been doing so well, and some of our subscribers have requested that we do what to do in Barbados. So, here we go. We're going to do A to Z of Barbados things to do. So, we couldn't choose. A. The Atlantis Submarine or the Animal Flower Cave. There are several fantastic tours in Barbados and the Atlantis Submarine Expedition offers you a truly unique, fun, family-friendly entertainment. The Atlantis Submarine Tour is one of Barbados' top excursion tours offered to both locals and tourists since its inception in 1987. There are several types of tours available, both day and night. Prices start from 112 US dollars per adult and goes up depending on your tour type. The Animal Flower Cave is considered to be one of the world's wonders. This amazing cave opens directly into the Atlantic Ocean and is the island's lone accessible sea cave. On calm days, you can swim in the natural rock pools in the caves or perhaps take a look at the stunning views of the Atlantic Ocean. Prices are US $10 for adults Five dollars for kids. B. Beaches. Barbados is limestone rock. Yes, limestone. But you will definitely see the majority of the coastlines filled with beautiful turquoise waters, white sandy beaches, once there's no sargasm seaweed, and bright blue skies, making Barbados one of the most sought after tourist destinations. C. Crop over. Crop over is a traditional harvest festival which began in Barbados having its early beginning on the sugarcane sure plantations during slavery. You can check out my video on the history of crop over to learn more. But now, crop over is a time to relax, walk up, dance your way in a circle like <laughs> for those who don't know, or gyrating, maybe you know that word. And it's also about having a good time. The celebration is a six week festival that comprises of dust to dawn parties, arts and craft markets, and culinary-driven street fairs. It usually starts around late June and ends on the first Monday of August for Grand Kadumit. D. Duty Free. Duty Free Shopping in Barbados is shopping without importation tax. All luxury items brought into Barbados are subject to import tax and if purchased by non-Barbadians who are leaving the country with the goods, the importation tax does not apply. Hence, duty-free shopping. E, exchange rate. Since the 5th of July, 1975, the Barbados dollar has been pegged to the US $1 to Barbados $2. Most people in Barbados will accept USD at the fixed rate, but with from recent years, the value seems to fluctuate a little under two Barbados dollars. F, F for food, Bajan food. The national dish of Barbados is cuckoo and flying fish with spicy gravy. Cuckoo is a creamy mixture of cornmeal and okra. Another traditional meal is pudding and sauce. The sauce is essentially pickled pork and the pudding is steamed sweet potato. In the old time days, to gain that black lovely color, the blood of pig was included. However, in modern times, browning has been substituted for the pig's blood. Previously, the pudding was encased in pig intestines, which is thoroughly cleaned with soap and water and then soaked in salt water for about an hour in lime and salt. The mixture of greater sweet potatoes, thymes, red pepper, sugar, spices, and salt make for that lovely pudding and sauce that we all enjoy. Prices range from 12 to 25 Barbados dollars. G, golf. Barbados' golf courses are a masterpiece in design with several world-class courses on island. At the top of every keen golfer's wish list is the renowned Green Monkey at Sandy Lane, one of the most exclusive courses in the world. Golfers from all over the world visit the top class clubs, including Barbados Golf Club, Rockway Club, Royal Westmoreland, Sandy Lane, and Apes Hill. H, Harrison's Cave. Unearth the adventure. Venture deep beneath the Earth's surface and explore one of Barbados' natural treasures as a knowledgeable guide takes you on a tour of a living cave. 
unique phenomenon of nature. Harrison's cave is an amazing gallery of, of stalagmites hanging from the roof of the cave and stalagmites that emerge from the ground. Enjoy streams of crystal clear running water that drop from breathtaking waterfalls to form deep emerald pools. The stalactites and stalagmites were formed thousands of years ago and in some places the stalactites have reached down to the stalagmites to form a spectacular pillar. Prices range from 50 Barbados dollars per adult to 25 Barbados dollars for children. I, Independence Square. Independence Square is located on the waterfront in the heart of the capital city of Bridgetown. Offers a lovely spot to relax and take in the sights and sounds. Take a seat on the benches lining the waterfront to enjoy a view of historic Bridgetown, including the Parliament Buildings and National Hero Square. J, Jewelry. Jewelry stores in Barbados are famed around the world for the quality and range of jewelry. Shop for diamonds, gold, sterling silver, coral pieces, and much more. But more importantly, locally made jewelry in Barbados comes in all forms and materials, so it makes for great gifts for friends and family. Okay, Kensington Oval. Kensington Oval is a stadium located to the west of the capital city of Bridgetown. It is a preeminent sporting facility on island and is primarily used for cricket matches and large concert events. L. Lime Grove. Lime Grove, located on what is considered to be the platinum coast of Barbados, offering on max selection of luxury and duty free shopping for jewelry, apparel, accessories. The shopping destination features more than 100,000 square feet of some of the world's leading retail brands from Louis Vuitton, Burberry, Hugo Boss, Ralph Lauren, Michael Kors, Cartier, as well as many specialty retailers. In addition to shopping, Lime Grove features an art gallery, spa, two cinemas, several bars, restaurants, and eateries. M for money. Barbados Offshore Banking Services are world renowned. For eligible companies and qualified foreign banks seeking a stable, secure, and well regulated location in which to base their offshore services, Barbados tops the charts. N, nightlife. Whether it's an evening with a cocktail at Lime Grove Bar on the West Coast, mingling with some famous faces dressed to impress, or less formal but hugely popular South Coast St. Arts Gap for drinking, dining, and live bands that get you moving your waist, or maybe tap your feet. Whatever your style, there is some form of nightlife for all people, especially on the weekend. Other key venues are Mullins Beach Bar, 1st and 2nd Street in Old Town, and harbor lights on the south coast. Oh, Oystings. Oystings is a lively fishing village on the south coast and it is a hub of activity every night, but mainly on Friday nights for the Oystings fish fry, food being the main drawing point. You can choose from a variety of fish grilled or fried right before your eyes, or have some lobster or chicken. The area can be kind of busy, but it's the togetherness, the good times, the people that makes it even more enjoyable. A plate of fish and food can cost between 30 to 35 Barbados dollars, US 15 to 1750 US. P, Port St. Charles and Port Ferdinand. These are luxury marina developments located on the western coast of Barbados with million dollar yachts and cruises moored nearby. They offer that stylish beach club luxury lifestyle for rental or ownership. Enjoy the finest restaurants on island like the Port St. Charles Yacht Club which boasts a full service bar and restaurant offering a variety of international cuisine prepared by their world class chef. At Port Ferdinand, a famous dockside 13 by 59 is the latest addition to Chef Larry Rogers' list of restaurant credits and offers a new, stylish, modern bistro concept that embodies the quintessential essence of bistronomy. Q, Queen's Park. Queen's Park is a national park in Barbados located in the capital city of Bridgetown. The main house in Queen's Park was constructed in 1783, was originally the King's House and was the residence of the commanding officer of the British troops in the West Indies. This, there is a lovely designated park for those visiting Bridgetown. It is used mainly to host fairs and large events like Agrofest. R, Rum. Barbados is considered the birthplace of rum. 
Your Barbados experience would not be complete until you have sampled one, two, no, maybe three of our internationally acclaimed rums. There's so many brands to choose from. We've got Foursquare, Mount Gate, St. Nicholas Abbey, Plantation, West Indies Rum Distillery. Make sure you book your rum tour when in Barbados. Snorkeling and diving. The best snorkeling conditions in Barbados are found along the shallow reefs close to shore. Here you can view colorful corals, schools of tropical fish, and other sea creatures that feed off those reefs. We recommend a guided snorkeling tour with the Captain Moran, our experienced snorkeler, or a dive company. We enjoy snorkeling with the team at Boatyard and Good Times 2 Catamarans. See the eye for those videos. Barbados has a reputation for being the home of the healthiest reefs in the Caribbean and an island that offers the ideal opportunity for wreck diving. Barrier reefs are located approximately two and one and a half miles from the shore and are renowned for the large coral heads, farming the habitat for thousands of varied multicolored tropical fish. Visit Barbados Pocket Guide for a list of all shipwrecks and reefs. T. Tuck Band. A tuck band is a kind of Barbadian musical assembly which plays tuk or rocka tuk music. They consist of a double-headed bass drum, triangle, flute, and a snare drum. The traditional fiddle has most recently been replaced by the penny whistle, usually accompanied by several characters with African origins and symbolism as well as to the former enslaved people on the island. We have the mother sally, the green monkey, the stilt walkers, the shaggy bill. You can get a chance to see the tuck band and some of these characters in Oysins on Friday Night Fish Fries in the Port Cemetery and at the newly implemented Pelican Village Festival. You, UNESCO, UNESCO World Heritage Site. On June the 25th, 2011, Barbis joined an elite group of nations with World Heritage Properties, ours being historic Bridgestone and its garrison surrounding areas. Most popular are the Barbis Museum, the Garrison Savannah and the Barbados National Gallery, Heroes and Museum of Parliament. For our full list, visit barbados.org. V. Vehicle. You can enjoy the island through driving. Not always a need to book a tour or a taxi. Rent a car, perhaps. The minimum age for visitors renting a car in Barbados is 21 years old. Bring your driver's license with you when you're traveling and hire a car. You can recognize hired cars because they have an H at the beginning of the license plate. Remember, in Barbados, we drive on the left side of the road. For more information on driving tips in Barbados, visit barbados.org. W, water sports. When enjoying the crystal clear waters surrounding Barbados, be sure to indulge in one of the several water sports available. With the usual jet skiing, kayaking, and surfing, why not try down a bit with some paddle boarding, challenge yourself with some kite surfing, water skiing, water jet packing, and water jets called sea bobs. These are new. They look really fun and I look forward to trying them myself. X. X marks the spot. We had our very own pirate here in Barbados marking his spot, Samuel Paul Lord, who's a famous buccaneer known throughout Barbados for being very creative. He would lure ships near his beach by setting up lights to look like Bridgetown Port. When the ships ran aground on the reefs, he would steal their treasures and keep them for himself. His castle was once a renowned North Hotel for the rich and famous. Now in ruins, the whole hotel is said to be reconstructed and will reopen in 2020 with 450 rooms, three restaurants, meeting facilities, and a luxury spa. Why? Yeah! The Barbara's Jack Club sponsors a yearly racing program and is a meeting place for its members and visiting yachtmen. The club offers sailing, dining, recreational facilities including bar and restaurant, boat shed, tennis courts as well. The facilities is also used for learn to sell instructors by the Barbados Sailing Association. Z. ZRs. Want to travel around Barbados at a fraction of the cost? Well then why not try hopping aboard our infamous ZR van. The only way to move around the island in true Bajan style. The ZR vans are white minivans with a horizontal maroon stripe down the side. They also have the letter ZR on the license plate. They are privately owned vehicles and run according to specific routes island-wide, numbered 1 through 11, each number representing a different travel route. But there is $3.50 per bills. For more public transportation, watch our video. The link is right here in the eye. And that has been the A to Z of Barbados. Things to know and things to do. All related websites will be in the description bar below. Don't forget to leave us a comment if you have any additional A to Z attractions. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.